What's up guys? Today we're talking about a very difficult note to get. It's the double cluck. And a lot of people have been wanting me to do this video for a while. And the reason I haven't come out with it sooner is because I wanted to make sure that I was teaching it in the easiest way for you guys to get. So what I did is I went out, got a bunch of people that didn't know how to do the note, and we started working on it. And this video is accumulation of all of those people's work. This is what clicked for them and made them start to get that note. So let's learn how to do this double cluck. So if you don't know how to control your air pressure, you're going to have a really hard time with this note. I mean, click right, click this link right here if you don't know how to do the cluck the way that I that I know how to do the cluck. Because if you can't do it this way, you're not going to get this note. It's going to be really, really tough and you're going to get nothing but frustrated. So learn to use your pressure when you learn to use pressurized air when doing the cluck and learn to use the tip of your tongue. It's going to make it so much easier. So once you have that down, really, you just got to learn what your tongue and your whole air presentation is doing for this note. So basically, this is the roof of our mouth. This is where our teeth are, and this is the, our tongue. And my fingertips are going to be the tip of the tongue. So we're starting with our tongue making that seal at the uh, back side of our teeth, just like what we talked about in the cluck video. And we're building up that air pressure behind our tongue. And what we're doing is we're dropping the tip of our tongue down, we're bringing it back up, and if when you do a cluck, you'll feel the back part of your tongue start to rise up before the tip of your tongue creates that seal again. And it's the back part of your tongue bringing up that's focusing that air on the call that's making it crack over. So we're popping the air into the call once and we're stopping our tongue here. We're not cutting off the note. Our tongue is not hitting the top of our mouth twice. It's hitting it once. And that's after we bring it up, we're dropping it down again, and we're popping it up again. And that's when our tongue's hitting the roof of our mouth. So the first cluck is really more of a pop of the air into the call. And then again, we're bringing it, bringing it back down, dropping our pressure just a little bit, then increasing the pressure again and snapping off the note to create the second cluck. This is what it's going to sound like. All right, hopefully that makes sense for you guys. All right, let's talk about a few problems that I've seen people have with this note. And I think the main one that people don't understand the most is the amount of pressure that you have to use with this note. It's not easy to learn if you're just lazily putting air into the call. You've got to have that pressure built up and you have to be able to increase it and have enough control over your air to crack over that note the second time. It's really, really a note on control. And once you get it, you're just going to keep working on it and working on it and just keep practicing it until it's second nature to you. And you can just throw it in into your sequences and you're fine. But really, this is going to be one note I'm not going to say take it slow with. It's one note that it's really difficult to learn if you're trying to break it down and go really slow with it. You've got to make sure to have that air pressure and then it's just pop up, pop up, pop up, and you're popping that air into it and then you're cutting it off with your tongue that second time. So yeah, that's, that's the easiest way for me to explain it to you is just that initial pop Drop your tongue more and then pop it back up a second time. Again, your tongue is not hitting the roof of your mouth twice. If you ask anyone that actually rolls their double clucks, they're not hitting that tongue twice. And that's that's a common misconception amongst what other people consider a double cluck. And they're thinking it's just two geese going back and forth, in which case that's really easy to do. Watch the cluck video and just we go into breaking down different sounds and different inflections into a call. And really it's just picking two of those and going back and forth as, as fast as you can. And that's what several people have considered a double cluck. The double cluck we're talking about is the actual rolling of the note. And it's, it's, it's the contest way to do it. And uh, let's talk about 
not just a double cluck, but let's go into a triple cluck. And what that is, is again, our tongue is still only hitting the roof of our mouth once. But what we're doing is we're popping it two times and then bringing it up a third time. And that's basically what a triple cluck is. This is what it's going to sound like. This is going to be a double cluck, triple cluck. And guys, once you get that triple cluck down, triple cluck down, don't be afraid to experiment. Stack them to the moon. You can do quadruple clucks, quintuple clucks. You can just keep building off of it. Do as many clucks in a row as you want. I hardly ever go over triple, and I actually rarely use triple, but I'll mix double in with a lot of my stuff. So that kind of leads me to the next point. Where do, when do I use this in my calling? And really, in the field, I don't feel like it has that powerful of a purpose. I mostly just mix it in with my bottom stuff, mostly because it's just part of my sequences now. I don't really find it that effective in the field. I would more do like a traditional double cluck where I'm just going back and forth as fast as possible. Uh, again, I will mix it in on the bottom just to add a little bit more commotion. If those geese really want to hear a lot of volume or a lot of sound, say you're hunting lessers, great time to use it. Just speed sequences and this is one way to really add like or sound like you're speeding up your speed sequences. So this is going to be just a couple instances where I'm mixing double clucks and triple clucks in with just my speed or just regular calling. <laughs> That is the double cluck. And if you've got any questions, send me a Snapchat. My Snapchat name is all lowercase JMP172. You can send me a message on there or you can send me a message on Facebook Messenger. And if you still don't have it, pick up Bad Grammar the DVD. It's a great reference. Basically what I'm doing, I'm not ripping it off on here. What I'm doing is I'm trying to explain it in a different way for those guys that watch that video and watch everything else instructional calling online and still can't get it. I have a way that I feel like I explain it that's different than all of those guys and maybe this is the one thing that helps you get this get these notes. And if I'm helping that one or two guys out that still couldn't get it watching those, I feel like I'm doing my job. So yeah, everything today was done on a Multgear EX Reflex Goose Call. This one's in Burnt Hedge. Man, these guys, these calls are freaking sweet. If you haven't tried one yet, try one. There's a lot of good call makers out there, but I'm partial to these guys. So yeah, guys, subscribe to the channel for more awesome stuff to come. We got a bunch of good goose hunts and uh, duck hunts as well. We're just we're starting to get into that season and we're starting to get things moving. And a lot of things are happening fast, so don't miss anything. Subscribe to the channel, and we'll see you guys later.